Hi, Michael Hurwich here for CreativeCow.net with a tutorial on connecting Pro Tools and Sibelius using Rewire. Pro Tools is a digital audio workstation and Sibelius is a scoring program. And Rewire is a standard that lets you record audio from Sibelius onto a digital audio workstation, such as Pro Tools, and it also synchronizes Sibelius with your digital audio workstation so they can play back at the same time. And starting playback in one program starts playback in the other program as well. And this opens up possibilities such as, for example, adding an acoustic solo instrument or a vocal to your Sibelius playback by recording your score into your digital audio workstation. And that's exactly what we're going to see in this tutorial. So here we are in Pro Tools. Only Pro Tools is open at this time, and this is a brand new project. The first thing we're going to do is create two audio tracks, stereo audio tracks. It's very important to make them stereo. Then we go to the Mix window and click the Insert button for the first track. You'll notice currently no insert is selected. Go to multi channel plugin, instrument, and Sibelius stereo. If you don't have Sibelius stereo in this area, it means that Rewire has not been installed correctly. And I'm going to offer some ideas later about what might be wrong and how you can fix it. But for right now, I'm just going to continue assuming that Sibelius is here. So as soon as you do that, Sibelius comes up and this rewire window comes up. Now I'm going to open up a previously existing file. And as you can see, it's very simple, just four measures. Now I'm going to arrange things here so that we can see both the Sibelius window and the Pro Tools window so that we can see that playing in one starts the other playing. So we've got Sibelius below and Pro Tools above. I'm going to click Play in Pro Tools. I need to readjust this a bit. So I'm going to click Play in Pro Tools and watch this little audio meter here. You're going to see that moving. And that's going to show that that audio from Sibelius is coming into Pro Tools. And you can also see the cursor moving on the timeline in Sibelius. So we've got Sibelius playing in Pro Tools. Now the next thing we may want to do is to record that Sibelius audio in Pro Tools. All I need to do to record that audio is to enable record for that track, which is Audio 1 then enable record on the main transport and click play. And as you can see that Sibelius score has recorded into Pro Tools. Now let me just minimize Sibelius. As you can see this isn't very loud. It hasn't recorded at a very high level into Pro Tools. So I'm going to go to the Mix window and I'm going to raise the volume on that track a little bit. Then right click and clear that audio away. And I'm going to bring Sibelius back and record again. So as you can see, that recorded much louder. So this is a possibly useful thing, but an even more useful thing is to have the Sibelius score playing in Pro Tools while you're recording something else in Pro Tools, such as, let's say, 
an instrument track or a vocal track. So let's see how that works. To do that, I need to arm the other track. I'm also going to go to the mix window and make sure that the input for that track is coming from the right source, in this case from my microphone. So this is the line in microphone. And there you can already see that I've got some audio coming in on that track from the microphone. So now I'll bring Sibelius back just so you can see that. It's not necessary to have the Sibelius window showing. You could have it minimized, but in this case it's better to see it just so we can really see what's happening here. Then arm the main transport, click play, rewire is cool. And there the Sibelius played and I was able to add a vocal track on top of it. And there's that audio in Pro Tools. Now the Sibelius score is not in Pro Tools yet and this can be an advantage because now I can go back and play with that score and get the score just exactly the way I want it in Sibelius before I commit myself to recording it into Pro Tools. Now let me show you a couple of other things which may be useful to you basically when you're setting this up. So if you're in Pro Tools and you go to the channel Insert and you don't see Sibelius Stereo there, perhaps Sibelius has not installed Rewire. In that case, put the Sibelius installation DVD in the drive, go to the Rewire directory there, and run the rewire install file. And this will install rewire. It's very, very quick. So that's one thing to do if you don't see rewire in Pro Tools. If rewire is installed, you've gone to the DVD and installed it, and yet it still doesn't show up in Pro Tools, another thing to try is to repair the rewire installation. And you do that in Sibelius. Go to Play. Playback Devices, Audio Engine Options, and here you'll see a Repair button. Now in this case it's grayed out. This means that Sibelius thinks that Rewire is installed correctly, and in my case it is. But if this Repair button is not grayed out, if the lettering on it is in black, click it, and it will repair the Rewire installation and this may make the rewire appear in Pro Tools. One other thing I'll mention. If you're using rewire and for some reason you exit Sibelius, you can sometimes bring it back by going to the rewire window, selecting no output, and then coming back in again and selecting the input that was there before. In my case, that's mix left, mix right. Now in this case, that didn't work. It didn't bring Sibelius back. So another thing that you can do is to unload the rewire plugin and then load it again. So this is that insert. You'll remember we went to multi-channel plugin and instrument and Sibelius stereo. So we're going to go back to that same insert and select No Insert. That gets us out of rewire mode. And then just click that insert again and do the same thing we did before. And that will generally bring Sibelius back. And the last thing that I want to mention is about optimizing windows for Pro Tools. You can get to this by Googling Pro Tools Optimization Windows, whatever version of Windows you're in. I happen to be in Windows 7. So that brings me here. There are a number of optimizations that are considered to be required, so you should definitely be looking at these if you're installing Pro Tools. One in particular that I'd like to mention is the Disable System Startup Items optimization. This instructs you to go to the Run dialog, type msconfig and click OK, and that will bring up this system configuration window. And on the General tab, 
they want you to deselect load startup items and then go to the service tab click hide all Microsoft services then they tell you to disable all and just load the items with the Avid DigiDesign M Audio Pace manufacturer and I want to point out in particular the Pace manufacturer it could be easy to miss this. It's not necessarily intuitively obvious that PACE is part of the Avid DigiDesign environment. But PACE is actually the license server for the Avid products. So if this isn't active, these products will not run. You'll get an error that your license isn't found or isn't installed. So that concludes this tutorial on using Rewire to connect Sibelius and Pro Tools. I hope you found this helpful and thanks for tuning in.